<laughs> My hair has um, a life of its own. It does what it needs to do. Are you in a robe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My robe. Is Again. Monty the first naked person on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of G- GLP Deconstructs. This time it's Monty. <laughs> yeah, um, Gina, they sent me this robe. They saw uh, the work I was doing on this podcast. And um, right. people at, uh, uh, what do you call that guy? Who's the racist guy? Um, uh, Which one? Um, yeah. Um, the white guy. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger. Oh. <laughs> yep. He sent me this and uh, a hood with holes in it. I don't know what to do with the hood, um, but the robe is nice. <laughs> What's happening? Are you okay? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I just woke. Were you out last night? No. No, no, I was, yes, uh, earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was up. Um, Nick, you look slim. What's going on? You have, you're you wearing a form-fitting outfit here. Well, I, it's remember last week I said I was going to make Spanx golf clothes, so I, 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 I'm a prototype. Yeah. You spanked it up. Oh, my I God. spanked it up, yep. The ladies' uh, viewership is going to go going through the roof on this. Well, with, um, with your spanks and my casual um, laissez-faire attitude, this is <laughs> it's something for everybody. It's like a boy uh, band. I and then Gina, know, I don't know if laissez-faire <laughs> is the right. I think rolled out of bed is more. Yeah, the best case scenario, any women that might stumble onto this podcast are like, we. I can fix those guys. And then, and then they're yeah. all over this podcast. That's part of the boy band allure. There's a boy band who rolled out of the fucking gutter, for sure. He's one of the guys. I'm like, oh, that guy. I can fix him. He's got perfect harmony, though. <laughs> but can man, he's got manager? problems. <laughs> <laughs> See, we've already got Gina's a manager. They're like, she needs us. Monty we does have the hair right now that looks like he might have been in a boy, like be in a boy band, the way it's all spiked up. Okay, let's see. Yes. Oh, good, yes. good thing I got my. Uh... No one, no one there told him. Go. No one told him the brand band broke up eighteen years ago. <laughs> I, yeah, sorry guys, I was drinking. Uh, what do you call it? The uh, white Russian alcohol. Oh god. oh god. No, no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. I, it just seems like something a boy band guy would drink. <laughs> 18 years later, I was like, I had too many white Russians. Like, uh, like the Big Lebowski. I think he was in a boy band. Or, I'm gonna, I'm working on a prequel. So, what time did you make it home? That you're just rolling out of bed. We're recording this at 2:30 oh. on a Friday. Oh, the Eastern Standard. I don't always roll on Eastern <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Listen, this is, this is um, noon. Noon, th- noon thirty at uh, Mountain Time. Yeah, and uh, Pacific. which you're not in. You're not in right now. Yeah. <laughs> I live the markets. I'm on everything <laughs> all the time. Stop evading the question. Just <laughs> whatever time zone it was, for God's sake. Um, and tell you this: every racetrack opens at a different time. <laughs> um, you try to play the ponies in Japan. You got to get up early, bro. Different animal. You'd be wait a minute. late. Wait a minute. They have different horses in Japan. Way different horses. They're all, um, you know, Japanese named. That's what makes them different. Yeah. Well, they're all they're still horses, but they run. They're eating sushi, probably mostly. Right. Their names are. Um, sushi. And <laughs> yeah, sashimi. Bed to a box. Let's go sashimi. Uh, <laughs> I guess we should say welcome to episode six of season five of Where's That Barkhart? I'm one of your hosts, Nick. Alongside me is Hi, I'm Gina. I am Daryl. This is Monty. Monty time zone Scott. <laughs> time zone Scott. <laughs> the zone. We call him the zone <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the zone i'm betting on mongolian horse races <laughs> uh, i lost 4500 on mongolian horse races but i I made it back up in budocrat uh budapest <laughs> the world keeps rolling around 
were, were you in at the corner last night? Is that what it was? Oh yes, I was. And then things all apart. The corner is a no, comedy no. club in Toronto, and Monty's like, "Oh, buddy, you gotta get in there. You gotta get in there, buddy." And I'm like, I know what's gonna happen if I get in there. I'm just gonna end up hammered all the time. And Monty <laughs> just makes me think this more and more. <laughs> well, I mean, it, um, you can't you can't blame another club. You can blame another boogie. You know what I mean? You come home, you do it to your. You know, I did it to myself. <laughs> I I mean, you know, when you're drinking at home alone. You can't be like, oh my god, the club fucked me over on this one. <laughs> um, when you're going through, uh... you know, I found my credit card next to the computer. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. No, oh, that's good because I don't. Know. Even more uh... garlands are going to be there. <laughs> more garlands? Oh yeah. <laughs> Mon- Mon- another, another garland. Has another fifty-five inch TV coming? <laughs> <laughs> Um, the in case, in case of I the do, garland. I do want to before we get into it. I do we because we we're so crappy at promoting on this podcast, but we should say out of the, out of the gate, Daryl's album is out. Um, <gasps> everyone should go get Daryl's album. I've been listening to it all afternoon. It's fantastic. Give it up for my main man, Daryl Purvis. <laughs> that was a bit much. Uh, hi, how's it going? Nice. Guys, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm not going to lie. My year got off to a pretty bad start. So uh, I appreciate you guys all being here. This is true. My first week of January, this is all true. I got a call from a a woman. Uh, Very exciting when it's a woman. But for some reason, I answered the phone. I just saw a number come up. that I didn't. Go down to HMV. Yeah. Uh, Go down to Music World. Oh, Uh, yeah. Sam, the record man. Yeah, uh, it's available yeah. at all those stores. The Kmart, that's where I used to get all my CDs. Zellers. Like Kmart, Zellers, Zellers and Zellers Kmart. Kmart. <laughs> we, Kmart. Had, we had to go to the next town over to get our CDs and our tapes. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even have a local Kmart. No, we had to go to town next town over, but in Glasgow. Yeah. Oh boy, but the excitement! Save up all your money to go to the music session at the Kmart. Oh my um, god, remember like wow. those little booths where you'd go in and listen? At like HMV? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Sort of. You grew up in a real city. I did. Yeah, that's true. Calgary was more bustling than whatever uh, the fuck. Small town, town, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I would say uh, you gotta get it to Calgary on that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what was the name of uh it wasn't Walmart? Walmers or something? No. Um, oh. There's a with the W. Yeah. Walgreens? Or is that American? No, that's American. Zellers? Uh, Wool- Woolworth? There's another. Oh. Wolco. 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 Oh, okay. Wolco. Woolworth. Yeah, Woolworth. Wolco was one. There was definitely a Wolco. Wolco's a band. Wilco's a band. Oh, that's yeah. Wilco. Wool. Like Woolworths oh, Wilco. became Wilco. Yeah. Oh, I see. Wilco, I see. yeah. I, I, see. I went to the Wilco. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know which one. Phone yeah. in. There's... If anyone knows the answer. Phone in. <laughs> Lines are Phone in. I, yeah. my, I don't this wasn't Wilco, but I remember my um might have been collegiate sports. My friend put on a tracksuit and caught the bus um sealing it. Yeah. He got away. What? On the bus, like James Bond. Jeez. Boy, he stole stuff from the Wolco and got on the bus. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. He put on a tracksuit and got the bus out. <laughs> was he naked before that? Did he just show up? I don't know. That would be... I don't know of, what he put uh, it on over. A lot of white Russians for him the night before. A lot before. of white Russians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they were starting to form a boy band. That's why he needed the tracksuit. They were all getting them. <laughs> no, no, no. My, you know, that that is Scarborough. Um, uh, sober thieves. Mm. Mm. It doesn't require any white Russians. Good name for a band. Sober yeah. thieves. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah. good one. They'll just rob you. Sober though. But yeah, go ahead and uh, get Daryl's album or listen to it. It's on Spotify. It's on um, iTunes. Yay! Congrats, Daryl. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Gina, you got to hear it. It was a it was a tremendous set. Mm-hmm. I don't know uh, what he's done with the album. The set was amazing. Uh, <laughs> special guest voice by Monty Time Zone Scott. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what time zone I'm in, but you've got to hear this album. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on. I uh, 
I here's a bit of news just to tie into the whole Bull Moose trip. I, I'm here doing shows in Ottawa all week. A couple of the uh, the Bull Moose boys showed up for the show last night. Uh, Colin being one of them. You guys may remember Colin from his brief appearance when we were down in Myrtle Beach that had to be edited out because he said a really inappropriate joke. Uh, so this was Colin's first time coming out to a stand-up show, or at least my stand-up show. And nice. uh, he started heckling uh, pretty early on in the show, which, which oh my God. promised not to do. <laughs> And uh, then I thought he was heckling again because he yelled out bull moose, but he was calling me out for a bull moose because I took a sip of my drink with my right hand, which is against the rules of bull moose. But uh, it's it's okay with the rules of comedy. Well, that's what I I said. It was it wasn't like they were confused because it was actually stage left. Not it wasn't my right hand. It was stage left that I took a sip out. That's a joke. It's meant to be. Okay. So yeah, Colin uh, yelled out a couple times during the show, which was lovely. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that seems uh, uh, about right, though. A couple yeah. times. Yeah, he was kind of restrained. Drunkle. Drunkle. Yeah. Drunkle. Drunkle was, I was Drunkle. trying to remember his nickname. Yeah. That's a great nickname. Yeah, it is a great nickname. Well, he was drinking. Oh, he was drunkling. <laughs> Drunk Uncle is my favorite. One of my favorite all-time SNL characters. Yeah, I'd say. It's so good. I never saw I didn't that. I didn't know that was a character. Yeah, I had no idea. Monty and I are too Bobby. busy at Wolco. <laughs> it's Bobby um, Mon- Monahan. Monahan, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's so those funny. Are, I was too busy being a drunk uncle during those years to know. <laughs> right. To yeah. see the scenes. You were like, that's just a regular guy like me. <laughs> not doing a character. That's just a guy... That's just a guy with nieces and nephews. What's the big deal? <laughs> You're like, when does the comedy start? <laughs> this is a documentary. When... <laughs> At what point does that smell come on? Yeah. I mean, this, yeah, I'm sure this is fine. Face down in the meatballs. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Monty, just curious, like when I'm not trying to call you out or anything, but at what what time do we estimate the first alcoholic drink is going to be consumed today? Oh, today? <laughs> uh, it's a good good call, good question. <laughs> Today's Friday though, oh. in most time zones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> these these drinks don't count. This That's is a convenient. Friday drink. <laughs> That's convenient. Right. Um, good questions. Uh, good questions. All. I mean, I'm going to say. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna walk down to the off track betting. <laughs> <laughs> I in my robe because yeah. uh, you know what it was one of uh, you know Vincent the Chin Gravante uh, as a mob boss. He's always wear a robe and he was walk around uh, Manhattan. Sure. And um, he got they they didn't prosecute him as much because of his um, they thought he was nuts, and that was his plan. Right. So I, I'm working on that early. I'm not involved. I'm not involved in organized crime, but um, just to defer general prosecution, robe. <laughs> robe boy. Your Your Honor, I'm wearing a robe. <laughs> your Honor, I'm nuts. I'm wearing a robe. Would you, you know what reminds me of? I know this is such an old reference, but you guys might get it. You guys might get it. Here we go. It happened in our early forties. It's gonna, yeah. it's gonna be something from four years ago. <laughs> like before your time, I think. Um, okay, I've been watching the show Mash. Yeah, mm, yeah. Which I watched reruns of as a kid with my dad and like loved it. So I recently went back like to the beginning and I've been watching everyone. But uh, that Monty, that reminds me of I think his name is Spinner, who t- keeps trying to get out of the army by dressing like a woman. He's like, I'm crazy. Clinger. No, Clinger. 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 Yeah. I, so funny. The, that's the man. What's well, it's similar, except they're not made, they're not making me fight the Koreans in this episode of my life. <laughs> he just does that on his own. <laughs> <laughs> no one's making him fight Koreans. <laughs> yeah. You mean we don't have to fight the Koreans? <laughs> <laughs> Monty just gets in his robe, gets on the yeah. subway, goes to Blore and Christie area, and just yeah. starts swinging, <laughs> just yeah. smashing bib and bop all over the place. Yeah, just no did time. I fight some Koreans? Yeah, <laughs> you know, 
was that necessary? Uh, who knows? Um, so you're talking to a man in a robe. I don't know, Your Honor. But then, um, you know, the thing is with Your Honor, they're wearing robes too. So it's like, you know, it's a uh, the melting also, of the mind. Uh, to bring it back to MASH, Hawkeye and uh, Trapper John used to wear robes all the time. That's true. Well, they were in the tents. Yeah, but they would walk around with their martini glasses wearing robes. Totally. They were pretty hammered for surgeons. Yeah, but that yeah. was a different time. Yeah. <laughs> the Koreans. Surgeons and pilots were allowed to drink back then. <laughs> Which is so wild to think about. I guess if you're in a war... And you're like, I'm always in surgery. When am I going to drink? Yeah, there's no schedule. You don't right, know. Yeah. <laughs> People coming in bleeding all the time. I'm like, look, I'm going to drink sometime. Yeah. And then they're, they're like, okay, how about you don't drink much um, in any one time? And they're like, okay. Now, you know what I mean? Now we're talking. Yeah. And you're like, what do I, what do you mean? And then, yeah. And also, yeah. like, they have some breaks. So what are you supposed to do sure. with your time? You're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, not drink. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I definitely if I was important like that in the army, I would threaten to uh, defect all the time. I'd be like, I'll I'll stitch up Koreans if you want. <laughs> they won't have any problem with my drinking. Um, the Koreans already told me they said I could drink as much as I want. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what happened to people who said that they got shot. Yeah. <laughs> was, well, yeah, but it's, but, it's not the yeah. best strategy. You kind of have to sneak out if you want to do that. You know, it's like, hey guys, I'm gonna go fight for the other team. They just go, okay. Well, could you go stand up against that wall first? You want to take your picture, and then you have about eight guys aiming guns at you. That is that's a good, that's a good point as well, Daryl. Oh, but you have to be important. That's what I mean. Yeah, the surgeon. Mm -hmm. They don't do that yeah. to surgeons. They're like when right, exactly. they, yeah. they talk to the surgeons. If you're a ditch digger, they'll be like, nah. Get rid of this guy because I'll be like, listen, I could dig ditches on them for the Koreans. And then they're like, okay. And then you're standing up against the wall. <laughs> it's important to have rare skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go. I don't think this podcast could get off the tr off the track like this, but it's amazing how <laughs> yeah. we're just off the rails completely. Yeah. Yeah. Gina amazingly interjected MASH. That really, <laughs> I did not expect that at all. No. Ta -da! No, it's like a was Suicide Gina born when the last episode? When the last episode came out, was Gina even born? I doubt it. No, you no, guys recently born. you recently found out that I'm older than you thought. So <laughs> yeah, you know, little respect. Eternal. Yeah, little respect. <laughs> <laughs> Put some respect on her name. She's watching Mash. I'm like, okay, yeah. I will. Yeah. Mm. I loved that show growing up. That was one of my favorite shows. I loved Hawkeye. Oh, well, yeah, Hawkeye was great. Um, who was the other guy? Um, who was the protagonist? The guy who always yelled at them? Frank Burns um, or uh, Winchester? Maybe Winchester. He was done at the top. Was it the fat guy or the 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 skinny guy? The fat guy. I think. That was the Winchester. skinny old guy. He was just a nice guy, right? Yeah, the captain, not the captain, but the uh, the guy who's supposed to be in charge, but he has no backbone whatsoever. Oh, he uh, Henry. Henry. Is it Henry? Yeah. Henry yeah, Blake. Henry, Henry Blake. Henry Blake. Oh, that was probably the first time I ever cried at a TV show when he dies. Damn. What? He died. Oh, my God. Oh, sure. Spoiler Tina, alert. sorry. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> spoiler alert. Sorry for spoiling that show from 1982. <laughs> You're breaking a young girl's heart over here, Daryl. Come on. <laughs> you fucking asshole, Daryl. Could you imagine if we record next week, like same time next week, and Gina shows up disheveled in a robe and she just rolled out of bed? She's, she's, she's so, so depressed. She finally He's saw the episode. Bender. She's been on a monkey sized <laughs> bender for a week. She, I'm like, so she... guys, we lost Henry Blake. You're like, no. <laughs> oh, don't worry about Gina. She's on a bad run of mash. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, when Radar delivers the news, though, that's, well, Gina, get ready for it. Go search out that episode because uh, it's crazy TV. Well, not but crazy. I'm watching it's just... it from the beginning, so I'm a few seasons. I'm sec I'm on, on the second season now. Okay, Henry's oh, yeah. still alive. Episodes they do twenty two episodes. 
I don't know. Uh, I like a lot of episodes. Must be a lot of episodes, right? It is a lot of episodes. Are they half hours? <laughs> Monty's talking about this while mixing himself a drink. <laughs> I just welcome Monty. Just starting to pour, and I'm like, classic, classic Monty. Welcome to where's that mash cart? Uh, suicide is painless. <laughs> This one's this one's for Drunkle. <laughs> Why? So you just decided to start watching Mash? Yeah, I love watching. I, I mean, I like watching classic sitcoms. So I know I I know I rarely reference old things, but I I do love old shit. <laughs> that would be wild to watch a whole season, like a, to watch all of Mash because it, it's such yeah, a different think, era. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, it gives you like, like, perspective on the industry, perspective on society at the time. Like, it was so progressive, but as you watch it, like the women are treated like objects, and you know all of that. But in if you put your brain back in time, you're like, wow, like a a man dressing as a woman. Uh, they're standing up for uh, people of different minorities. Mm-hmm. They're they're doing the best they can given the time. So I always like, I always think it's good for perspective to watch those those old shows. They're also providing role models for alcoholics and future alcoholics. Yeah. So <laughs> there are. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they're not Yeah, perfect. and they're like they're like, listen, we gotta kill these Koreans, but we don't have to be assholes about it. And um yeah. you know. No, because there are episodes where they would uh they would treat Koreans. If Koreans yeah. came in, they would treat them. Yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm kind of dealing with maybe a identity theft thing right okay. now as we do this. So uh, go do your thing. This episode has more twists and turns <laughs> than, than <laughs> uh, this is like, is this directed by Shyamalan? <laughs> Shame from the guy who showed up late, disheveled, rolling out of bed. Yeah. That, that seems that's regular. Gina's watching Mash. We got Daryl's getting uh, identity thefted. What's going on in real time? I don't know what's happening. Nick's 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 wearing form fitting shirts. We got it. We got everything going on in here. It's, it's Gina's watching shirts. shows from she calls old that are from our teenage years. Yeah, well, Mash is yeah. legitimately old. No, um, I think it was. I, I voted for uh, Joe Clark when Mash was on, for Christ's sake. A hundred percent sure you did not vote for Joe Clark. Yeah. No, I didn't. That son of a bitch. I, I yelled at Joe Clark and my dad got angry at me because I wasn't allowed to speak badly about men because I was too young. What? I, I said Joe Clark's an idiot. And dad was like, You're, hey. he was the goddamn prime minister. What have you done? And I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm Showing only seven. adult respect. I'm only seven. Oh my oh god, boy. that uh, mask came out the year I was born. Wow, really? Yeah. A man. Yeah. yeah. When was that? 1983? 2011. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did want to talk about that crazy video that's been, I guess, blowing up. Of uh, Is it a pro golfer? Yes. Pro golfer just filming herself it, in England. Do you know more about this? Coach. She's a golf coach. Right. Like she's uh, online. I, I don't know if she's was part of like the the tour or anything uh, or okay. what her background in golf is, but she's a golf coach and, and does all these like videos about fixing your swing and really helpful stuff. And uh, yeah, it just, uh, this one video that she posted, she's swinging at the, the range and this guy just stops her to correct her swing. And He's like, I've been golfing 20 years. 20, that was my favorite, 20 years. Same. <laughs> like, you can golf for 45 years and still be <laughs> like, shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jesus. Jesus. You, what you're doing there, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be right through, trying to follow through. No, you're doing too slow on the way up. I'm I'm going through um I'm going through a swing change at the minute. So everything I'm Yeah, 
so I mean I'm going through a swing change at the minute so with that I'm just making everything just get one, Yeah, thank you. I don't think that was, yeah. No, I'm actually going to do a swing change at the minute, so everything's slow um, in order to get, I don't know whether you see, you watch golf, the best players in the world when they are making a, a practice swing or they're going no, through a change. <laughs> thank you for your advice. She took it with such like a, as, as many women do, you know, you're just, you're, you're used to that on some level, especially on the golf course. And, uh, she just was like, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm just working on, I, I think he said your backswing is too slow. Yeah. She's like, right. It's something I'm, I'm actually deconstructing my swing. I'm, I'm something I'm working on. Yeah. And then she just like lines up the ball, hits it beautifully. I don't even know what made him stop to correct her first swing because right. it's yeah. like because so the first good. shot was right down the middle too. It was amazing. Like it yeah. was, yeah. Like well, that's what that's what makes the the worst part of the video the worst part is that she hits basically the exact same shot and he takes credit for it. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. was the fucking. He's yeah. like, see, I told you. Yeah, and he's like, like, there you oh, go. Keep God. hitting like that. Oh, it's yeah. so cringe. And at any point, she could have been like, yo, I'm a golf coach. Yeah. Like, and it would have shut him up. But the, I, I think it's really interesting that she didn't. And and I and I get why. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's because you don't even want to waste your breath explaining. Like, why even? Yeah. I Why justify your right to be there? Yeah. Like, that just does. It's like, it's like those guys at the golf show calling my friend, like, being like, is she a pro? It's like, right, no, she's right. just, she just hits well. Like, why can't women just hit well sometimes and it be okay? Whenever she would stop herself, like, she would say that that British thing where she'd go, erm, like the ERM, she'd go, yeah. erm. You could tell that was her way of, like, stopping herself from just unloading on this guy or calling him a fucking asshole or calling him out. She well, just kept I'll say it. this, though. Her father, a man, taught her good manners. So yes, that was something was, we should... Yeah. She should listen to this guy, maybe, because there's a... It's happening for in her life. Well, is that, but is that, should she have just said, one no. fuck off? No. No, I mean, I mean, how do you handle it? What's I guess gonna, this and, is worse. Like, I don't know anything about guys. I don't know anything about women. Sure. I just know what women post on dating, from dating apps and seeing how guys escalate things so quick. Would you really want to tell a guy to, you know, fuck off when... I guess not. who knows how he's going to escalate things. Yes. No, you could have you could have told him that you're she's not equipped to deal with the mentally ill, <laughs> or you know something like that. I'm like, I, you know I, what? I, don't, I, I will say this: if she had been wearing a robe, no one's approaching her. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was going to say that. Um, I watched that uh, independently of this podcast somewhere. I saw it, and it was it is crazy. Um, although a lot of that conversation was ass related. Um, she is <laughs> wearing some crazy ass pants, and some guy was like, "I got to talk to this girl about her swing." You yeah. know what I mean? Like, if she was that was his in, that was definitely yeah, his yeah, in. yeah. yeah. No. yeah. That's true. That, it's like it is about him probably approaching her and just wanting to say something. Yeah, yeah. but you yeah, could have said yeah. your swing's fantastic, and she said, "I'm still actually trying to recreate it," and he'd be like, "Yeah, wow, you're doing great. You're doing yeah. great." Much yeah, that would be a way better way to go, Daryl. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a lesson to the guys out there. Just say, "Hey, um, that's yeah. a really you're doing a really good job." Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. I know, like it's it's tough for guys out there. Like they can't. Not everyone can read a woman's mind, and I know there's been a big shift in society. And and Wait, are there dressed. people who can read minds? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of can. I'm a little psychic. <laughs> Psychic? Is it the right ending of the word? Crazy. Um, well, a, a no. lot of guys uh, could read minds because they're like, "This girl really likes me," <laughs> and they're, you know, they can read minds. They're just not accurate. Yeah, <laughs> two percent of the time, they're right every time. I I, I can read Gina's mind right now, and she's like, yeah. "Would these guys shut the fuck up so I could make my point?" <laughs> Please, Gina. Good point. Very good, Daryl. 
You are. Like... <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, like, I I do hate the pile on effect with the internet, and and I almost hated to post it, but it's like it it, it truly happens so much on the golf course that yeah. you could be any woman at any skill level. And I think if a guy wants to talk to her, whatever the intention is, right? It could be a range of different intentions, but like just uh, resisting the urge to make it about, you must not know what you're doing. Mm. Resisting that urge for that to be the thing that you say. And like, I I know that's, it's, it's like people trying to be helpful, I think. And they're just really socially awkward. But it, it women are so sick of the um, common denominator in those interactions being right. that we somehow don't belong. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Gina? We've never, I've never asked you this, but what do you think of uh, Paige Sporanic? Oh yeah, I I respect her a lot. Um, I mean, it's not my approach, like in life, to be so. Uh, like about the aesthetic, Mm. about how you look, but the fact that she is a really good golfer and she does have great perspective on the golf industry, like she is delivering real information amongst the like, also I have like, you know, breast implants, long blonde hair, and I fit a certain aesthetic. So I think she is, I think it would it would bother me if it was um, actually it wouldn't I, I don't really judge women who, who do that that doesn't bother okay. me at all I, yeah. and I, I just think it's really powerful when a woman pairs um, okay final like I, I'm going to fit into this aesthetic I'm going to give people what they want and sell myself but I'm actually delivering like solid well-researched right. information I like that pairing oh cool interesting mm-hmm. what do you guys I, think I like I, I like it too to be honest, I I really don't know much about her. Then this is true. I know, like I've seen her. Obviously, I'm not a I'm not against looking at pictures, um, <laughs> but um, I, I I just think men are idiots. Yeah. And if you can make enough money to live the rest of your life without <laughs> ever having to worry about money, because men are idiots. Yes. Then go do it. Yeah. 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 You know. She is using it to her advantage at the end of the day. I don't see her as like a victim of it. You know, no, what she's I mean? not a victim in any oh, way, no, shape, or form. She's I was a more, I was more wondering if it like that's why I asked Gina if like based on the previous conversation, if it actually if it makes it worse for women. But it doesn't sound like from your perspective, someone using their physical oh. attributes, you know, to make golf sexy is like a, a net gain for for women in golf or not well, right okay. yeah so go ahead daryl no i was just gonna say well it would definitely be a gain right because at the end of the day look when i grew up there was uh there were the two best female junior golfers in nova scotia were both uh, i don't know other words as a teenage boy Va 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 boom, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Daryl, tone it down. This is a family friendly podcast. <laughs> well, Darryl, you're te- I was talking about people who were teenagers at the time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but the thing is, they're also very good, right? So I think there's a, at some point when you combine it, it's just like okay, well then maybe you respect every other woman just because you know your role models are good golfers. How about sure. that? Yeah, yeah. I mean. I would never go up to a woman on a golf course and say, oh, let me help fix your swing. No. And I would say, just like, let me help fix your swing. That's how I would say it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Hey, buddy, it's stupid. I mean, that I like. but it, it's but, the same yeah. as saying, what's the good looking uh, Australian guy? Why am I blanking on his name? Um, uh, oh, uh, Adam Scott. Well, yeah, it'd be like saying, is Adam Scott doing anything for men's golf because he's so goddamn good looking? I mean, no, you would never but... even question that. But if Adam Scott was, uh, if he was dressed in like not a professional player, with, like, m- muscles flexing and was like showing off his abs okay. and like really playing up his physical physique, that's that's mm. the that's the the comparison I'm drawing. Like, would it be different? Yeah, like if one of the uh, one of the Helmsworth came along, another one, but he's only uh, he golfs at 82. 
but he's wearing um like shirts like Nick. He's fired up, <laughs> and he's he's coming out there. And the ladies are like, "Listen, I just like watching this guy play. I don't give a goddamn." He's like, he's not bad. Yeah, I mean, if 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 women are now going up and goosing every other golfer on the golf course, or, sure. you know, <laughs> whistling in your backswing, hey, nice ass. Was, I don't think I'm so. just trying if, to play golf over yeah. here. <laughs> and if a, woman, if a woman sounds like that, nice ass. I think that's <laughs> that's another issue, but Listen, yeah, I, if but, people are people. I mean, you can't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't even know what we're arguing here. I, you, she's you, a good you golfer. Know, let her golf. Yeah, yeah. You know what, guys? I try to make women feel like they're they're part of um my crew, because if I see them hit a bad shot, I always I come over, I walk right over to the other four, so I'm gonna be like, listen. You'd think you could drown in that lake, but it's more shallow than you think. <laughs> and they call the mar- mar- marshal over and say, "Why is this man in a robe talking to me?" <laughs> this robed man come out of the bushes to give me suicide tips, and I'm just, Pick I'm it. just saying, ladies, I like to play golf. Fixing too. himself a drink <laughs> <laughs> out of their bag. I'm like, <laughs> anyway, ladies, if you, uh, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Could you imagine Monty just goes into their bag, makes himself a drink? <laughs> you think you can kill yourself in that lake, but you can't. And you can't <laughs> drown in sand. So your call, ladies. Anyway. I think like there's a um miscommunication of when like even with Paige Stranick, like she's not doing it. Like, okay, so say a woman does show up with, like, a really tight skirt, mm-hmm. a low-cut shirt, um, super long hair, an aesthetic that is, like, eye-catching. Um, like, it's not for you. <laughs> like, I think this is the other thing. It's, like, I- I'm not saying that men don't, or women don't ever dress for men, but, like, if you just happen to look good in what you're wearing and your style is a certain way... Mm-hmm. Because you like to dress that way, it's like that doesn't that you need to separate that from um, th- this is a, she is trying to sell sex to me personally, and I have the right to talk to her, and I have the right to treat her a certain way, and she is now to be objectified by me. Like those mm-hmm. are very two mm-hmm. different things. So right. I, I don't think like the aesthetic of Paige Frantic is like doing a bad thing for women everywhere because women should be able to dress however they want sure yeah yeah makes mm-hmm. sense and monty does dress however he wants <laughs> and he does. Well, yeah i have not understood them again the golf world is strange <clears throat> yeah <laughs> i was wearing jamaican mesh at one course and they told me it's not called for i'm like come on you know what? I just I just thought about you wearing a robe on a golf course, Monty. And I was thinking about <laughs> how the pockets would be so great for carrying balls. <laughs> you're right. I can carry, I can tease, carry yeah. eight balls in this. In this <laughs> oh, it, it's actually you're right. It's very functional, Gina. You're you're it genius. I look, the sleeve. Maybe I'll cut the sleeves off. I'll go uh, robeless, sleeveless. I mean, you That's could right. say you could say that robe has a collar. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking true. about? And all the animals want to be near me. Uh, you know, <laughs> guys want to be with me. Uh, okay, well, guys want to be like me. Animals want to be with me. Ransacking we... women's golf bags for booze. <laughs> <laughs> Giving advice, suicide advice. Listen, ladies, you think you you think you could kill yourself with that cart? <laughs> Don't fool yourself. Um. Anyway, I just try to give you some tips. Later. <laughs> I picture him twirling a golf club as he's walking away, drinking out of a martini glass. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, that was a period of time I was drinking dirty martinis, and they called me the uh, the Scarborough James Bond. I, I was going. Uh, I was twirling. I was twirling a, a golf club, and and uh, they were way too dirty though. One time. <laughs> Like mud, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when you get them out of the back of a golf bag, it's yeah. only be so clean. You're you're only pouring a you're pouring two shots of gin into a a, a, gl- a glass of olive juice. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. That is a lot of olive juice. 
Mm-hmm. Costco. Did we, did, sure. <laughs> did, did we cover it all? I don't know. Gina, did we cover it good enough? <laughs> never. Can never be covered good enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was great. Thanks for uh, listening to me rant. No, of course not. <laughs> What was that? I feel like we did most of it. You, yeah, you were did. kind of cut off over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> was I cutting Gina off? I'm sorry, Gina. Oh, we, we all were. We're terrible. We... I think it was mostly Daryl. Yeah. You guys are mansplaining. <laughs> you were mansplaining the clip to me. <laughs> well, I mean, Gina shows up in that sexy Adidas flower shirt. shirt. <laughs> I know. Yo, there's an airplane on this shirt. Look at this airplane. Why is there an airplane? Well, just the one. What is that about? It's just a random airplane. That's cool. Do you know how cool I think I look in this shirt because of that <laughs> fucking one airplane? I love it. I'm obsessed with this airplane. <laughs> no, you're right. It's, that's some, nice that's some whimsy they threw in there. Yeah, that's I know. nice that you think you look cool. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, this is a drunk pilot just flying through a sky of flowers. <laughs> a plane full of drunk surgeons in the back yeah. <laughs> on his way to Korea. That could be the one that Henry Blake got shot down in. He gets shot down? Oh, dear God, Gina. How do you not know this? <laughs> Gina's in the infancy. You know what? You know what? I want to tell the listeners we're going to be, uh, I'm going to start Barney Miller in like a couple of minutes. And um, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to run down some old sitcoms. Oh, you like that? You guys, um, a little teaser for Alice coming up. <laughs> Suicide is painless. You guys want to talk about Benson? <laughs> Don't get me started with Benson. I don't know uh, what that is. Yeah, <laughs> well, sitcoms from the same period, yeah, basically. Tune in, <laughs> tune in next week. I mean, uh, Monty knows I did famously watch every episode of the Rockford Files. Not quite a sitcom, <laughs> oh, but that was famously because it was at work. Yeah, I, I've never, <laughs> I've never seen a man at work waste more time than watching the entirety of the Rockford Files. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred and twenty-two episodes. That is tremendous. Those are our episodes. <laughs> I can't believe... paid slightly more than minimum wage <laughs> I can't believe James Garner had enough time to make that shit <laughs> let, let alone Daryl watch that at work it was incredible <laughs> good show though uh, I think we did it that's episode 6 season 5 how are we feeling Gina are you okay I'm great never okay. been better you're going to go watch that episode of MASH so we can talk about what happens after that. Uh, what what season do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, don't have her jump ahead. She's in, the, she's in the zone. Yeah, that's true. You know what? I don't want to know. I'm just... I'm maybe we're, maybe we're making the whole thing up. Yeah, maybe you are. Yeah, I I'm might have made go... up the whole 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I was there or not. <laughs> Daryl, I'm going to go for a walk in the sun and listen to your album. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. nice that's a great idea. Really great idea. Thank you. We recommend Enjoy that. Enjoy the sun. It's very, I went to get the car washed today and I just sat there waiting in line and it was so oh. nice. Window open. It was beautiful. Oh. Out. Damn. So you were in your car. You weren't even in the. <laughs> <laughs> no, but oh my God. I was like, I'm going to go get the car washed at 10 in the morning or whatever, thinking, well, oh, there'll be nobody there. Holy cow, what a mistake. Really? really? Yeah, I was, I was eighth in line. And then at one point, I was still fifth in line. And there were like seven cars behind me. I was like, this is insanity. Jesus. <laughs> we should be making money washing cars today. <laughs> the car wash over by my house there? Can you imagine Monty just in his robe washing cars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really oh. see it. I would use the robe. Sponge in one hand. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, to dry the car off, I would just throw myself under the hood. <laughs> he's, ch he's changing robes with every car. Monty be on the sidewalk facing traffic with a sponge washing himself down. <laughs> Give the people what they want, Daryl. Martini glass in the other hand. <laughs> Drunken imbecile is destroying cars. I'll turn up the MC Hammer, too. <laughs> 
Gina, MC Hammer was a rapper back in the day. <laughs> oh, I saw MC Hammer live in Cowboys, which is a club in uh, mm. Calgary. Wow. Mm. He had the pants on and everything. Wow. But what, no. Was it the Please that... Hammer Don't Hurt Them tour? No. <laughs> no, that would have been probably when he was crashed his life had crashed and he was uh, yeah probably ran out yeah. of money building his house yeah. and he desperately he's playing cowboys for christ's sake yeah, true. Yeah, yeah cowboys was not it's not a real big venue right it was i know cowboys yeah. i've been there i mean it was yeah. during stampede so it was like a huge hmm. event but um yeah it was probably 2009 oh wow okay oh so you're using your older sister's id <laughs> <laughs> she made it in she no. made it in just by talking some mash to the bouncer. <laughs> yeah. That was the like dirtiest one. Hello, my ever. bouncer fan, friend. I was watching mash earlier today. <laughs> that was I, I encourage people to go on YouTube and just rewind about 12 seconds ago. That was the dirtiest look I've ever seen Gina give someone. What did she give? Really? What, to oh, me? Yeah, yeah. She sneered for, at you for about 0.5 seconds and then moved on. For using on. your older sister's ID? Yeah. She you just go back and look, bitch. look at the videotape. It is yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I, I, yeah, she had enough. Wow. Yeah. How did I do She's, it? I'm so curious. And just, the question the is just, why? I don't know. It was something about <laughs> using her sister's ID that really rubbed her yeah, the wrong like way. Enough of this. Does, does she she's been working on. Uh, does Gina have an older sister? I can't remember. I do. Yeah, she's I'm, in like a <laughs> I'm in the middle. Hey. <laughs> She's been mirror, mirroring, uh, mirroring uh, Hula Hands' dirty looks. Yeah, she's been working on That's it. That's right. <laughs> Some like match reference, everybody. Oh, <laughs> oh, when she dies, Gina, that that's that's oh, funny death. that's what? the funniest death. Oh, dear. Off, honestly, don't okay. even. We we pissed off Gina enough. We're sorry, Gina. <laughs> you, sorry. you know what I would have done if I was a mash creator. Is that every beloved character? I would just have them killed by stepping on a landmine, just occasionally, yeah. <laughs> one after another after another, and be like, you know what? We should stop planting these things, guys. That was the point yeah. of the show. Whoa, yeah. that would actually be wild if, like, they it had nothing to do with the story itself. It's just like they were just picked off by landmines throughout. Oh, landmines. it is crazy. Like, it is a funny show, but it's pretty serious. Like most of the themes are really mm. deadly serious. Mm -hmm. Most of the stuff they made in the seventies was actually very poignant. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. they're sitcoms, you know. Like even if you look at All in the Family or um, yeah, um, Archie Bunker. Mm -hmm. or, oh, yeah. Sorry, not not um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Barney Miller. Like they were there were mm -hmm. like serious shows, but you know, although Barney Miller made me want to not be in law enforcement, that's for sure. It seemed very boring. What about Many soap? Of the shows were Remember boring. soap? They they actually had a gay character in the seventies. Oh, How yeah, about that? That's, that's right. insane. Oh, wow. Was that Billy Crystal? Billy I love Crystal. Soap. Yeah, soap was amazing. Soap? Yeah. I didn't watch soap. I don't think I ever saw I, it either. I knew of it. So but... fu so funny. It, it's basically a parody of a soap opera. Uh, oh, that's okay. cool. That's fun. It, it with uh, Billy Crystal was in it and. Uh, Many um big uh, one of the the main actress died recently. Oh, Ma, of old Ma age, not a, not a landmine. Didn't Ma what? get an abortion, or she just considered getting an abortion? That's crazy talk in the seventies. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. all those sitcoms. Yeah, mm -hmm. the seventies didn't play games. It was like the sixties, but they were all on PCP. <laughs> 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 it's actually yeah three's company now that i think of it like jack had to pretend to be gay to mm -hmm. justify living with two women yeah yeah uh, right that is wild it says a lot about housing prices <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't question it now they're like listen i don't know if you're banging them you're not banging them sure. uh, all i'm saying is we got to make rent <laughs> Bang somebody for God's sakes. <laughs> you might as well. Somebody better bang somebody. What the hell are we even doing? <laughs> Why are the women even there otherwise? <laughs> what is yeah. Wow. They're what a sexist to... thing to say. Did you hear yeah. what you just said about women? Wow. That... Yeah. What are these women just trying to live in a house? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she said that. 
<laughs> just trying to fit in with you guys. Whoa, you? Wait a minute. Whoa, I don't think that's whoa, fitting whoa. in. I think. Uh, like, how do we give? On. What's my dirty look so I can give it to Gina? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty. That's, good. that's mean mugging. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, your next album should be called Mean Muggin. <laughs> Here's my picture. <laughs> All right. Well, That's thanks fun. everyone. Thanks for Thank watching. You everybody. Thanks everybody. We should just keep not letting Nick go. Just keep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, that's this. <laughs> let's talk more about seventy sitcoms. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. We should have a we should have we should have a podcast where we just every episode we just talk about each mash episode. Yeah, we should. The, the mash report. The world's been yeah. clamoring for that yeah. since 1978. <laughs> how sad would it be about how much more popular that podcast would be than this one? Oh, that would, would take off so... in a second. Are you kidding oh, me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Talking back about... then they didn't have podcasts about Mash. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody had a chance to talk about Mash. No. No. They no. couldn't even talk to each other. All right. No. Well, this is our last episode for Where's That Burger? Right. Right. Guys, yeah. tune in nice. next week for Where's That Dirty Martini? Our Mash. <laughs> uh, our That's Mash good. podcast. Get working on yeah, that logo, symposium. Oh yeah. boy. <laughs> Oh my God! The the episode where radars gun down is going to be so hard to talk about. They're all. <laughs> you keep going. I'm not going to listen to your album if you keep. <laughs> You're getting off the playlist, Daryl. Tina's going to listen to everything on Spotify, but Daryl's album. Yeah, no. Go for the longest no. walk. Yeah. Dude, I can safely say every one of those characters I've talked about. Probably makes it to the end. Hmm. Well, Houlihan stepped on a landmine and then landed on another landmine and that killed her. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, they're all good. I don't trust any of you. I, know, right? very I understand. Yeah, very trustworthy. Like <laughs> I trust Nick. Listen, <laughs> uh, <laughs> always trust hot lips. <laughs> that's that's what we call Nick Hot Lips. <laughs> no, that could be the podcast Hot Lips. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be just a pair of lips would be our logo. Uh, yeah, yeah. To me, everyone loves Hot Lips. Hot Lips, and then everyone would think it's like about sex, but really, it's just that. No, never even bring up lips or sex. They're like, what is even going on? They just talk about mass. This is a mass. This is a mass podcast. <laughs> when are they gonna get to the lips? Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, hey. I came for the lips, but I listened for the mash. <laughs> I want to just keep going because I can see Nick trying to back Nick away. Like, <laughs> he's trying to press the button. Let me out. Let me out. I can only stay in this skinny, this skinny shirt for so long. I gotta let it out. You know what the funny thing is, Nick? You took a drink of water earlier, and I because yeah. I was in Ottawa. Nick's in Ottawa right now, and I was in Ottawa last oh. week. I was like, "Oh, hey, that's the glass I used last week." <laughs> Good thing there's about a, really there's, uh, about a, there's about a dozen of these, but yeah, yeah. That's I well, was wondering the one, the one right up front would have been the one I used. Oh, that's true. I was hoping you would have left something to to to. Oh, there's two slices of cheese at the very top oh, of the fridge. Wonderful. Those are mine. Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah, good. yeah. Thank you. Those are that's I'll fresh sure. cheese. Eat that before it goes bad. We'll do. I can't wait. I left some uh, angel dust in one of the drawers. You find it. <laughs> Monty hasn't been here in months. <laughs> it may still be there. Mine. We don't know. What's a landline? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> don't don't put your lips on that landmine. We don't want to blow those hot lips away. Yeah, we lost the hot lips. All right, well, everybody, join us for hot lips next week. Yeah. Bye. 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 I have another topic I want to discuss. <laughs> Excuse me, a second. Yeah. Reaching towards the lead. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. God bless you all. See ya. Now, you know, it doesn't count as the tradesman's entrance. It goes in the side. It only goes in the back. She can hit it, uh, although it looks like it's strongly uphill. It's really